Hi, welcome back to the next video. Um, I thought we'd have a bit of fun tonight. As you know, the ice cream van doesn't have any chimes. So while I wait for the halving chimes to come up for sale, if anyone's got any, let me know. Um, I thought we'd have a little play with something a bit more modern. Um, see if we can get some sort of noise out of it. Cool, so what I've bought is this lovely little tiny amplifier and some weatherproof speakers. I figure, let's plug them in, see if it can make it sound like an ice cream van. Who knows? Cool, so what I think is I'm gonna to try to find somewhere to place our little speaker. I'm thinking initially, let's see where we can get this down here. So I want the, the trumpet to be coming out the front grill, really. It's almost made perfectly for the job. Right, I think it's gonna live there. So let's take the little bracket off and get it screwed in. Right. Let's see if we can mount these. Obviously it's not that easy. <laughs> Typical. Can't get the impact driver in there. So as usual, things get in the way. I couldn't get the drill into the place where I wanted to put the mount. So we're going to mount it slightly higher and further back. Still going to be a bit awkward. But let's see how we get on. So even in the new location, it was still really awkward to get to. So I ended up having to just quickly remove the coil. I decided using self-drilling bolts would probably be the best way for lining this up. Would have been a nightmare otherwise. Well, that's connected. So next up I tin the cables that I was going to use for the speakers. I absolutely love soldering, honestly, I do. That's why it's more naughty than my dog. <laughs> Val teach me. So I'm just applying a little bit of heat shrink here. I then found the ground on the car. I um, used a Wago as this is going to be quite temporary just to make sure it works. Afterwards I'll wire it in properly. Interestingly, behind this panel is um, the tan. That's what colour the uh, mini ice cream van was ordered. Mm. 
So we've pulled this power cable and our speaker cable through to the inside. Now all I'm doing is connecting the positive to the fuse box. Let's check if we've got 12 volt going in here. We do. Perfect. Let's leave that down there. Turn that off. Cool, so we're going to fit our tiny little amplifier. Looking good. So hot. Yeah. 